Right, hello everybody, just going to show off a whole load of new logos I recently found. So let's start up here. Jarvis, I googled that and found that logo like that. It's some kind of construction company, they build houses. And the interesting thing about that is, yes, I'm sure you've all heard of Titleist. We've all heard of Titleist. Um, but on the side, Professional 90. Now I've not had one of these for ages and I looked up and these came out in about 1994. Um, so whether this has been lost all that time and I've only just found it, it's actually possible where I've the spot I found it. So the ball dates to roughly 99. This is what came out before the Pro V1 by Titleist. So this was the best ball at the time, mid 1990s. Um, anyway, I'll carry on. Next logo, the point at, and then it's hard to work out, P-O-L. Zeth. I think it says at Pole Zeth. Wherever that is. Yeah, it does look like a Z. Pole Zeth. The point of Pole Zeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, the Rose Golfing Society. Established 963. I've already got two or three of those. Next, it's not strictly a proper logo, but it just it looks different on the ball, so I'm going to film it for you. Recycled, refinished by Lynx Choice. And they've refinished a Titleist DT. I think DT stands for Durable Titleist. I don't know what year that dates to. You don't find many of these at all these days. So this could be, again, probably 10, 15 year old ball, I would think. Next. That is the Open logo. It doesn't say the Open, but that is the logo for the Open. I know that because I've got a few other logos like that on a Pro V1. Um, next. Royal and Sun Alliance Insurance. It used to be just Sun Alliance, and they must have merged with that company, Royal. So Royal and Sun Alliance Insurance. Next, this is a good find. Bank of Wales. I've never had one of those before, so that's a good find for me. That's a nice big logo. Dark blue, almost black, and then gold. Number six, Developments. So again, it looks like building developments. Adcock, you can look up what they are because they've given you the website address. Peters, Elworthy and more. I found one of these logos way back in the mid-1980s, which was different. It didn't have, actually have any of that, those squares as logo. It was just a boring printed one I had before. But Peters, Ellsworthy and more I've had before. Financial strategies for success. So whatever they do. Next, Wellingborough Golf Club. That's uh, in England. Way west of where I am in Cambridge, Wellingborough. AXA Wealth. Unfortunately, someone's put a bit of blue pen over the logo. I'll have to try and get rid of that blue pen. But AXA, again, some kind of wealth management company. Unibond. Uh, that's a company that makes glue. Um, all kinds of different glues for DIY, etc. Unfortunately, the logo's a bit scuffed up. Next, Charles Schwab. Own Your Tomorrow. Again, that's I think that's some sort of financial company, isn't it? I believe. Now, this is a weird one. It looks, the writing on it looks too big to have been self-printed. It kind of, I thought it might be a business. I've Googled that. I can't find that that's the name of a business. And I can't find that that's the name of a person. So, um, perhaps that's someone's name. But SAG is a kind of Indian food. So, <laughs> rather odd, that. Uh, it's on a Strixon. Um, Z Star XV, so it's a fairly new ball. I can't remember one of these Strixon balls I looked up, and these only came out in about February 2021. One of the, one of these, it could be this one. Anyway, that's a strange one. Don't know if that's the name of somebody or whether that's a logo. Next, Children Need 2014. That is the BBC British Broadcasting Corporation, or broadcasting bullshit constantly, as most people now know it. Um, that's the company in England that you have to have a TV license for in order to watch television in England. And, and then they bombard you with bullshit on the news. So can't stand the BBC as it is. I boycott them. But once a year they do this charity event where they raise money for, as you can see, children in need. Um, and this ball dates to 2014 and I found it in 2022. So whether it's really been there seven, eight years, I don't know because it's in good nick. But anyway, that's that. 
Uh, next, London Golf Club, self-explanatory. Next, a very small logo, RCS. Let's see if we can make out. Specialist Deep Cleaning. And then the, the next word is all a bit scrubbed off, I'm afraid. I can't work out what the last word is, but Specialist Deep Cleaning. And it looks like the first letter is A-N or something, but anyway. And the weird thing about that, it's on a Nike ball. I very, very rarely get a Nike ball with a logo, so that's, that is a rarity. Uh, Nike One Black. Don't know what year that dates to, but um, interesting logo. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's slightly, there's a slight dirty scuff. It doesn't feel, it's not, ball's not cut. That's just a dirty mark I can't get off. And the logo is slightly scuffed, as you can see. Next. Uh, PD as you can see in blue and then underneath it's pbdoyle.com don't know what they do but I'll look that up next that's a really good one I found that Fox Fox Golf Society nice logo that's definitely one I'll keep and put on display next Golf Foundation Skills for Life now this is a really nice looking logo incredibly small writing the only writing i can see on the logo is um where the blue part is and it's very difficult to work out i had to use a magnifying glass I had to put a bright light on the ball and then use a magnifying glass to work it out that is a terrible logo design putting kind of gold writing inside of blue at that at that size i mean it's ridiculous so i'm using some zoom on the camcorder now you can just about make out john o I think I worked out John is it John O'Groat or something? I just can't get the angle right. You can see how difficult it is. I'm using the camcorder is literally about a centimetre away from the ball and I still can't work it out. Um so that's a very definition of bad logo design when you can't read what the blooming logo says. John John O'Gaunt G C Golf Club. I think that's what it says. John O'Gaunt Golf Club. Anyway, nice logo. Um Incredibly difficult to work out that. This is not a proper logo, but I do see people listing these as logo balls. They're not. That is not a logo. Um, Strata. It used to be Top Flight that made Strata balls. Then, you, then for some reason, they stopped using the Top Flight name on them. And, and then you get this fist on the ball. But So some people think they're logos. They're not really. Anyway, next. Foremost, Foremost Golf, you'll be able to look at what that does. Great big RJB, don't know what that company does. Um, I don't think that's a self-printing one because it's blue, so that probably is a company. Next, Royal Automobile Club. So the RAC, that's what you pay uh, as a breakdown service for your car. In England, like in America, you've got AAA. In England, we have the AA, or RAC is another one, and Green Flag is another company, but... RAC is a company I've used before. It costs you about £130 a year for membership. And then if, you, if your car breaks down when you're somewhere, they come out to you and try and fix it or tow you to a garage, etc. So, very useful service if you've got a car. Um, next, Ram. I think that's probably just someone's name that they've printed on, to be honest. That doesn't look like a proper logo. Next, Proviso, Wealth Management, that red bit is someone's pen, ignore that, the logo is that, Proviso, Wealth Management, and then if you turn the Titleist Pro V1 over, on the other side it says UHY Hacker Young Chartered Accountants, so two logos on this ball for two separate things, Hacker Young Chartered Accountants and Proviso Wealth Management. So who's wealthy enough to be needing wealth management? If you, if you know them, come come put some money in my account, please. Next, this is an interesting one. This could be something that's self-printed. Um, you know, like, again, like somebody's name, that's Sagtoa, that's probably someone's name. Ram is probably someone's name. This is most likely a self-printed one. I don't think that would be a business, but what does that mean? Peeg 7271. What, what's the four digit? code all about anybody understand that why would that be on there it's title list number 50 that's very unusual to find a title list number 50 um but what's with peak 7271 what what could that be if that was something next 
Uh, now, this is a very interesting one for me. Kansas Star, Casino Hotel, and then the last bit, Something Center. Can't work out. Something Center. But anyway, Kansas Star Casino. Um, I've been to Kansas, and that name sounds familiar, Kansas Star. So maybe I've actually been past it. I haven't been into the casino, but Kansas Star Casino. So quite how that golf ball's ended up in England... I don't know, but uh, anyway, that's a good one for me. Next, uh, unfortunately, this ball was pretty dirty. It's got a scuff mark, but you can just make out it says Pine Grove Golf Course and then something else there. Golf Course and then, does that say IMC Inc, maybe? It kind of looks like that. Anyway, Pine Grove, where's that? That's on the pinnacle. With some of these pin marks on it, nothing else. And then the last logo from this lot I'm filming today with compliments of Ely City Golf Club Captain 2015. So Ely is uh, a city or town, I think it's about 17 miles north of Cambridge, Cambridge, England. So not that far away for me, uh, been past it many times. So again, a ball from 2015, I've just found in 2022. So has it really been there seven, seven years, six, seven years, maybe? Maybe, but it's in really good condition. So there you go, that's uh, recent logo finds for me. Very nice. And then I might as well, since I'm making this video, I'll, I'll just quickly show a few of the other ones I found that are interesting. These are not logos, just some of the interesting balls I found. I think this is probably the first orange Nike ball I've ever found in my life. Um, Nike PD Soft. Not sure what year that dates to, but that's very, very, very unusual for me. Um, a brand, I'm not sure whether I've found one of these before in my life or not. I might have found one maybe, but this is not a common type of ball. Inesis, and then it says Soft 500. Perfect condition, brand new basically. So that's that, that's a different brand. Uh, I just kept this, put this one aside. Titleist Pro V1X, but again, absolutely mint condition. It's probably the first time it's been hit when it was lost. It's a nice one. Honma, this is possibly the first time I've ever found a Honma ball. I have seen them uh, up for sale on websites and stuff, but I've never had one before. And I've just realized that's a mole in the letter O. The, I didn't even notice that before. Honma, when I zoomed in with the camcorder. So that's the first Honma ball I've ever had, a D1. Uh, next, really perfect condition Callaway. Callaway Warbird with the markings like that. Don't know what year that dates to, but that ball is again absolutely perfect. Callaway Triple Track balls, uh, Callaway True Viz balls, and let's just see which particular one. Chrome Soft with those arrows like that. These little arrows and everything you see on the side of balls, they can help you work out what year a um, ball was first produced. I presume that's just a normal. Let me just see what the other triple track one says. And that says Chrome Soft. You see that's different. Chrome Soft X and then arrows. So these slight differences can mean different years. So that's why it's worth paying attention. Uh, Taylor made. I don't know what that that design is called. That triangular design. I've got I've got five or six of these now. Um, again, it's supposed to help when you putt. It helps you work out which way the ball is turning, etc. Next, a yellow Wilson Geo Optics. One of these very bright yellowy balls for playing in the winter. A green Wilson Staff DX2 Soft. Don't get many green golf balls. Um, mostly white is by far the most common color, then yellow, then orange, and then green is rare, and red is extremely rare for me anyway. So I've got a red Wilson Geo Optics, very rare, and then another couple of nice Titleist to show you. Titleist AVX. I don't know how these play compared to Pro V's, if anybody has played, let me know. What is the difference? And AVX, and for some reason, they just feel really nice. I like the dimple pattern on them. As soon as you pick up an AVX ball after you've washed it, they really feel nice. I don't know what it is about them, but they do. They're nice. Um, next, 
Srixen. And then I just noticed on the side, this is, I don't think I've had one with that marking on before. Srixen distance with little arrow inside of that bigger boundary. So again, could that be a brand new type of Srixen? Well, it is to me anyway. That's the first I've had that. And then this really bright yellow tailor-made ball with distance plus on the side and those markings again i've only had a couple of the white ones like this and now i've had a yellow one so again i presume this is a 2021 model maybe something like that but seems brand new to me based on when i found ball so there you go um right thanks for watching so logos and special balls let me know if you can help me out with any information about any of the logos or any of the balls i've just shown you if you've got any more information to help me Thanks for watching and don't forget I'll put a link underneath this so that you can um, find my other logo ball collections. Uh, I've got over 50 other videos showing off my logo collection so I'll leave a link and click on that and it'll, it'll take you to a playlist and then that gives you a list of 50 other videos or so. If you want to see my other logos I've got about 3,000 now I think. Anyway for now I'll shut up <laughs> and say thanks for watching. Bye bye.